Hi, it's Pastor Danny with Grace City Church. It's time for a two-minute recap. Well, how many of you remember the first time you learned to ride your bike? Maybe even right now, you're trying to teach your child how to ride a bike. Well, if you can remember that, if you're doing it right now, what do you do? You give the person a push. You just get them going, moving forward. And then after you give them the push, what do you say next? Keep pedaling. Just keep pedaling. Because the truth is, when it comes to riding a bike, as long as you're moving forward, the easier it is. Well, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 14, that's exactly what Paul's doing. Paul is saying to all of us who are Christians, just keep pedaling. Keep moving forward. But the word he uses is this, press on. Just keep pressing on. In fact, Paul related the Christian life to a race. And let me tell you, it can be a long race sometimes, filled with all kinds of obstacles and different things. But Paul says, as in a race, he is, as with a runner, you just got to keep moving forward. You've got to keep pressing on. You've got to keep pedaling. Now listen, there's a lot of things that can knock us off course. There's a lot of things that can many times slow us down. For example, just a change of schedule. Boy, we are creatures of habit, are we not? You change your schedule, you gotta be careful because sometimes that can slow you down. It can prevent you from having your, your devotional or your quiet time or going to church. Sometimes it's just a struggle with a sin. Boy, if you're struggling with something, many times it's that guilt, that sin that's just separating us from God and we don't want to be in God's presence. We don't want to be at God's church. We don't want to be around God's people. We don't want to be in God's word. We gotta be careful that we're struggling with a sin, we got to make sure we identify it, confess it, and keep pedaling. You know, the third reason why we sometimes slow down in our, our walk or we may stop pedaling spiritually is because, you know what, we're just in a season of dryness. And sometimes our prayers don't feel like they're getting past the ceiling. Sometimes when we're reading God's word, it just seems hollow. So we got to be careful in seasons of dryness where we feel like God's distant. We don't see him moving in our life and we see no wind spiritually. Keep pedaling. Keep pressing on because as you do that, you'll move through that season of dryness and you'll keep moving forward in your faith. Keep pedaling, keep pressing on, keep seeking Christ. That's your two-minute recap.